<laughs> anyway, anyway, um, uh, Squatch is embarrassing people at the Trend Live, as he said. That's our handle on social media. We're going to be checking in with him. We have such a great show. We have a young 20-year-old artist. She's about to. I genuinely believe she's going to really take over the game. She comes through with her manager, um, uh, Arthur Kay, who has managed some of the greats in the industry. Her name is Loriana. We get to find out her story. Then we have Murugi Moni, a.k.a. Yummy Mummy, and Lydia here to talk about their podcast, to talk about life to talk about the tea and everything in between so it's going to be spicy you don't want to miss that but we're starting off big with red sun <laughs> yo look That's at you yeah. hey, look at me look, look at me man. every time we meet I, i've realized as i watch back our interviews yes. the first thing i do is i big you up all the time and how right? you look like every, <laughs> thank you i'm like I, i'm still a <laughs> fan you. after all these years imagine you're right why shouldn't you you're right yeah, why you're right why yeah no you? but you know i'm a big fan yeah definitely man yeah. definitely for from way back in the days, right? Yes. Yeah. My brother, my brother. Kabisa, kabisa. Welcome back to the thank studio. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. Definitely. And it's so interesting how we always talk about this, but yes. the fan base, no matter how long you take a yeah. break, no matter how long you don't release music and people think, oh, maybe now he's quit, or maybe yeah. now he's he's concentrating yes. on business, because yeah. I don't know if people know that, that yeah. you're a serious businessman. Yeah. Yes. Um, but the fan base is still loyal. Exactly. How do you keep them hooked? <clears throat> Quality stuff, man. They know Red Sun is all about quality stuff. Red Sun is all about taking the industry to the next level. So we started, we started out as trendsetters, and that's how I've always been in the industry. So they always know that, you know, if they feel like the industry is going towards a negative side, you know, Red Sun is there to save us. Yeah. So, yeah, so I feel good. I feel good, man. So, but anyway, I'm, I really love the, um, the, the support that I get from my fan base and all throughout all these years that these guys have been holding it down for the red, red, fan, red flag. It's amazing, and I thank God for them, man. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. And, and you, you too, and people like you too as well. You yeah, know? no, yeah. but you, you're such How a... How you represent us, Nini, have. yes. Yeah, who's us? Uh, you, who, who's Sisi, Wasani, Wakenya. <laughs> oh. you, you carry all of us as well, yeah. you know, so yeah. Yeah, but there are it's people amazing. who are, it's easier to interview. They don't give you a time. <laughs> Maggie, my producer, and Denga, my producer, can write a book. Really? How do you keep yourself humble though? I mean, being called an icon and a legend, at some point, it yeah. would get through my head. I know. And that ego would just spiral. I mean, I guess it's just how I am, how I was raised, um, how I've been in the industry, the people I keep in my circle, management as well. So, And I keep myself very humble. And mm. I'm, I'm a very humble person. You yeah. are. I'm easy to love. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Ladies, what you say? <laughs> What you say? Those questions <laughs> that the ladies send, you always give such a vague answer. Sometimes you give a vague answer. But yeah, your I mean, fan base is, I think yeah. the majority is... is the ladies, female. right? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. So, um, I mean, yeah, shout out to all my female fans out there, man. You know, I keep it 100 for you guys all the time. Yeah, so, yeah, so I, I try to answer all the questions that they throw at me. Yeah. yeah. Quatch, make sure that you ask all of them. <laughs> the ones that you get on Twitter. We're going to give it like a couple of minutes. You have to make sure that you say, you ask all of the questions that people will send in. Good. Now, Red Sunny also share this with yeah. EABL. And yes. by this, I mean, you know, being in the game for yeah. however long is such a huge achieve exactly. achievement yeah. for you more than two decades. For yes. EABL, we're looking at a century. A hundred That's years, man. hundred yeah. years is, is insane. It's, it's amazing. They're celebrating a hundred years. I mean, um, it's awesome. And plus, they're celebrating it with us. And plus, they're looking for new talents. They're looking for rappers, gamers, anyone who's got talent, anyone who wants to blow out, anyone who wants to become a superstar, cocking a red sun out there. EABL is giving you this platform. You know, Tasca is giving you this platform. So definitely, Tasca Next Us is coming to your towns. Watch out for these advertisements. Watch out for the jingles. Watch out uh, for the posters. And plus, I get to be the judge. It's amazing, you know? Yeah. yeah, I've never done that before. This is my first time. We did it in Meru. It was spectacular. We got amazing talent thro mm. throughout. So, um, and I, ca I can't wait for Nairobi. Nairobi is on, I think, 26th and 27th. I can't wait for the auditions down here. It's got to be superb. Tasca yeah. next us. Watch out for that. Yeah, and I'm gonna be the I'm, I'm gonna be the judge. Yeah. And they say that you know if you get to win, then Red Sun gets to cut and raise for you. Imagine that. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> that. I've never been a cut and raise. Huh? You so, never. <laughs> you usually close the show. Yes. Like well, even on a far. Like time. that's how it's supposed to be, right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's gonna be weird. 
you're going to introduce whoever. <laughs> whoever, the, yeah. The whoever we're going to pick, whoever's going to win, right? Yeah. So it's going to cut and raise for you. Wow. Yeah. So you're going to shit, Yeah. Because you're cut and raise and closer. Yeah. Eh, Because they have to up your energy. Exactly. And you're going to bring it. Imagine. So, I mean, amazing. Shout out to Tasca for what they're doing, man. Especially for the industry as well. Shout out to you guys celebrating 100 years. It's amazing. And plus, picking us to be the judges for these events and also entertaining the young young talents and getting to select the young talents is, is it's an honor to us yeah yeah you know this is such a 360 for you because you started being judged by exactly people. like way back in the day yeah. when I uh, when I started the carnival uh, Zanaziki, I remember uh, Suzanne Kibukosia. She was the she was the first person to tell me you know what you're gonna blow up you're gonna become a superstar 1997 did, did you believe her at the time? Or uh, were you like, I, no, I was, she's being no, nice. I, yeah, just, I just thought she's being nice. But, you know, she really saw the talent. And plus, what she did, um, what she did for me in my career after that. Mm. Yeah, because she, she, she was actually the first um, distributor who distributed my first album launch when we launched it in 2000. So, shout out to Suzanne if she's watching. So, she did a lot, man. Yeah. Yeah, so now I, I believe her. Yeah, yeah, now I believe her. That is wild. <laughs> And now you had Tiwa Savage opening Tiwa, for you. Tiwa, exactly, DeMarco. They just sold out the O2 Arena. I know, so I know. For you. We're going to be selling out the that's O2 Arena as well. Inshallah. That's where we go. Yeah, inshallah, that's where we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're saying inshallah, man. Yes. What are you talking about? It's, anyway, it's, it's yes. life. It's life. It's the grind. It's life. It's the grind, man. It's, <laughs> it's the vibe. It's the grind. It's what we do. Um, do you feel like, you know, as a judge, yeah. because if I come to the audition room, and I yes. don't know if the judges usually have this in mind, but if I am coming into this room and I am a huge fan of Red Stand. Yeah. What you say, I will take it as if it is the truth and the future. Of so course. So how do you balance, you know, being very, you know, just giving constructive yeah. criticism while yes. still being sensitive to the fact that this is a young up and coming talent and they could take it really harsh? Well, one thing, one thing which is, which is really um, special is this is coming from a real artist, mm. someone who's been there in the industry, someone who understands the industry inside out. So, um, what they take and how they, they actually receive the criticism and the messages that we give them is really amazing because some, some of them to know and be a guy, you know what, like in Meru, there was a guy who I, I actually just told him, you know what, this is not your lane. I don't mm -hmm. feel this is your lane. You, you need to do something else. He took it, Vizuri Sana. He was like, actually, yeah, you know, and I can't remember, I read, I'm your fan, man, and I appreciate your kitu, but I was just yeah. trying out my, my, my talent. And I'm like, yes, I mean, work on your art. Mm. Yeah, talent is working on, keep, keep, you, keep, you have to keep on working on your art to become a talented musician. Yeah. So they take it positively. And me giving them, I, I give them reality. I don't try to like sugarcoat or anything because they're going to come and face this as professional musicians one time in their mm. lives and they'll have to be prepared. So someone has to prepare them. Yeah. And I think we're the right persons. Mm. We're the right people, yeah. Yeah. What do you remember back then, yeah. 1995, six, yeah. seven, <laughs> eight, nine, as you're trying yeah. to make a name for yourself? <laughs> yeah. Stations are barely playing Kenyan music. Music, yeah, only two right? stations were there at the They're time. They're barely <laughs> producers in the industry. Exactly. Kwanza wako wachache, kisha kuna mtu anakusikiza. Hakuna. No one even, no, at Red what? Oh, nani. Hey, what what are they doing? That even? Already. Yeah, exactly. They're like, you're dead on arrival. What does that even mean? <laughs> During that time, what yes. do you remember the most that you have carried on to this, to this day? I mean, always take everything positively and never let anything stop you. Never let any comment or anything someone does when you're showcasing your talent, like kind of like close your doors or make you feel like, you know, I cannot um, wake up tomorrow and still do, do what I do best. Always work harder. Mm. That's one thing that I've always had in me, always work harder. I always, I, I literally like live in the studios, man. You know, my, man, my, my managers and the record labels, the other day, I'll call them, hey, you don't have a life. I have a gym now. <laughs> I would tell you, now, exactly, exactly, like, what's going on? I'm like, yeah, this is what I do. So, and, mm. and right now, I know this, the industry is really starving, especially in Kenya. And we are competing with so much from Africa, so many talented musicians and, uh, um, um, and acts coming out of, out of Kenya. So um, I feel like it's time for us guys who've been there and who understand this industry to, to step up and really push this thing to the next level. Yeah. So for me, it's just hard work, hard work, hard work. There's no mm. negative. There's no time for negativity. No one has for time for me. Akuna kabisa. Were you ever told you're not talented? I never saw anything like that. Um, I mean, what kind of negativity? Yeah, but from haters, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from haters, guys what? who like, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, guys who you're in business with and then something doesn't go well. Oh, and then, and then, like, so they, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my 
<laughs> I was like, yeah, congrats, man. Okay. But you know what? You know what? You're still going to be jamming to my music. It's so, yeah, okay. the legacy is still there. So, yeah. yeah. So, this from the haters' side, yes. And we really, really love haters mm. because they build us, man. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they entertain us, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it's very hard to entertain an entertainer. Yeah. Man, I mean, <laughs> the, the worst thing is when you hear stories about yourself. Exactly. And you're like, oh, and they're not even true. Like, like uh, Minani. Exactly. You know, you hear it. Exactly. It's so Kuna gina sema mini manyema. Yeah, kuna gina sema mini mganda. Kuna gina sema mini sijini mnyamwezi na toka TZ. Yeah, these things, I'm like, it's fine. Yeah, I'm like, it's okay. You guys know my parents, it's okay. Now, a hundred years, like we said, is a very big deal. So this is going to be happening across the country where you're looking for talent. Yes. Started off in Meru. Coming to Nairobi next weekend, next Saturday. Yes, then we have Mombasa as well. Where in Nairobi? Nairobi, I think Nyash Stadium. Oh, Nyash Stadium. Yeah, we're going to be doing it Nyash Stadium. So it's going to be packed. You have to come early, come prepared rehearse your art you know do the, your best because this is your only chance man mm. yeah it's big yeah it's big you know what else is big yeah your recent smash hit oh yeah um, which one is that by the way you, first of all why you rapped so differently on the jam yeah deeper look at even yeah, like yeah, your guy yeah, yeah. Was like, yeah i was because i was challenged by 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 there was a rapper who challenged me i was like come on man i've been doing this for for so many years and and it's it's not a new thing because i did leon Leo, it's the same style but this is just different because i really put feelings in these songs mm. and a lot of reality that's why i said any song you're quelly Kikach we catch, I do check in a matapeli, kikach we catch industry sido to lijenga. Yeah, mean your beast on a bazenga because people have a sh very short memory, mm. yeah, like where we've taken this industry from to where it is right now. What we're coming from, we're not joining Ajay Manze. This is a Indo Kings way game to change. Killer. Now, when you look when you look at the directions where they're going, they really don't need to go that way, and some of them don't listen. So I was like, oh, since you don't listen, you think we can't rap? We can't sing your style, and you kidogo to a guse kidogo. Oh, kidogo to. Kidogo to exactly. Oh. So that's what we did, and it did very well, man. Yeah, yeah it did really, really, really uh, well. Amazing, yeah. everyone. Big up to everyone who's supporting. By the way, we mm. catch we catch, and go check it out. Yeah. it's a good song. So it was pretty much whoever feels like this song is directed to them. Catch. Sour, sour. Exactly. If the man. shoe fits, Ex go sour, ahead sour, and wear man. it. Yeah, if yeah. Amina looks too good and too beautiful and TV, we catch we catch. Oh, we catch we catch. That's how we do it. What can I, what can I, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so yeah. now here are uh, the places that you could go to uh, in Nairobi, sorry, so that you can audition yes. and win amazing prizes, yes. all courtesy of yes. EABL and Tusca. We have the clip, roll it. Hey. <laughs> Cheers to our next 100. Yeah. Yes, and 100 we keep it 100. It's a long time, man. It's a long Ooh. time, man. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. to yeah. Tasca, man. They seem chesel, by the way. Mm. Seem chesel. And you know how they do it? I mean, it's 100 plus. These guys are really keeping it 100. You should actually see the setup. I was really, like, moved when I saw the setups, audition setups. Like, they have everything. It's, if for, you know, for the gamers, it's out there. Mm. For artists, musicians, rappers, yeah, it's just something else. So I'm really excited for the one that's going to happen on the 26th and 27th that I'm going to be judging in. Mm. But this week, and in Kisumu as well, so shout out to that. Yeah, yeah. we're actually going to be there this Perfect. one for Nairobi. Uh, yeah, so you guys yes. will see the both of us. Yes, yeah, I mean, I'm not a judge, so I can't help you, but I'll try <laughs> talk to you nicely. <laughs> nicely, yeah. Okay, now, yeah. Quach, I know you have a few comments that you want to read before we take a break. What are people saying online? I mean, are you trying to say the mark is in my hands? Yes, I am. <laughs> you corny man. Did you see what I did there? Did you see I what did. I did there? I did. Uh, yeah. And then uh, someone is your handle is Mzeki Bor. Can you see you kwanini but somehow for some reason? Mm -hmm. At the Amina uh, I watched it. Can you see me shouting your name all the way from the sky? Yeah. <laughs> I can. At the <laughs> better than them, this track blows my mind. Yes. It blows my my world, the trend, Kambu Massive to Collocks. Mm -hmm. There were a couple of people who were speaking from uh, Facebook, Anthony K E saying, uh, the moves, Red Sun's moves on all his songs, great. 
There is a thing he does with the dances from yeah, shoulder back. <laughs> from <laughs> from <laughs> the, you know, show us, show us the move. <laughs> there is no song Everybody that comes out without a dance. Back. <laughs> Everybody do the shoulder back. <laughs> shout out, shout out. Shoulder yeah. back. Um, Oh, someone is asking how you how you choose to you know when you switch between the really you know dance hall Jamaican yes. kind oh, yeah, of the thing yeah. and when you switch to the <laughs> other ones like Akinashika glassy and what not yeah. how do you like now yeah. kikach we catch <laughs> like yeah. how it came to be yes yeah, like, like how do you switch yeah because kuna, kuna, you see um, when you do too many international songs there are some people who tend to forget that you're also a Kenyan a local Kenyan Kenyan guy who can do Swahili and stuff like that. So this was one of the challenges. Now Marapa, oh nyimna fanya too much international songs. You don't big up the local industry and it's songs I'm okay. So I think to from the Swahili kid. Okay. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's right. what I did. <laughs> Obodi Babu is saying Red Sun has and will always be my all-time dancehall legend. Yes. Rusungu yes. too. <laughs> is yeah. he really Kenyan? No, no, no. Eh, sote wa mambia Mwambia ende kuna ngoma gani ni Tony Yusum ukikatch uwe catch eh na one hiyo yes <laughs> Eric Eric uh, Eric Warasa Eric kwa jubilee saying asha gia mina what an inspiration i am motivated all the way from dagoretti yeah. Nice. yeah nice uh and uh, team philip is the one who was saying that the track blows his mind better than most yes and then george kills from facebook is saying at some point red sun you will have to tell us how old you are <laughs> yeah. And at some point, I'd have to just take off that durag. It's happening. Well, it's happening. You know, it's I started happening. music at a very young age. So, let me watch on a minimum. Me seems there sana yani. Yeah, 62 yeah. tangulini. <laughs> tangulini. Right, and thank you so much for coming uh, through to on the show. Babu wetu. <laughs> Alikuwa mhenga alikuwa hapa no akivilio akvio Amina can you imagine when is the last time you had Julie my love when was that last time when Kani was hot you know there was no Gemini all these other artists do quiver imagine man imagine support your own yeah support your own Amina thank you thank you so much apana Na kwa enjoy it. Thank you my it's sister. All I know it's all it is. Definitely. All right, so the hashtag is Hamina at the trend live is our handle. We're about to take a short break. When we get back, we're going to be sitting down with two incredible ladies you do not want to miss that. Bye.